Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review and show you how to set up this Ultima Caso espresso machine from Walmart. So this thing retails for around $300. It is on sale for 260. So this is the first time I've ever seen an espresso machine that's like this type at Walmart in stock. I was able to find this in stock at my store. Again, there's what it looks like. And again, there's the sale price. So it's very heavy. Be careful unboxing it. Here's everything that's unboxed. So first thing around back, the water tank. Take the water tank off. We gotta take this, this plug off. Make sure to remove this or it won't work. Okay, I got the water tank completely full. Now, anytime I get a new appliance like this with a water tank, I fill it up and then I un, I raise it up and down. That, that I like to prime the pump. That's kind of gonna force some water into the machine and I think this helps about 10, 20 times. Now up here is the grinder. We can take this out. You're going to rotate this to the unlock, but it comes all assembled. You don't have to do anything right here. So just put this in. This is for cleaning later on. Here is, you're going to find, there's a, a lip right here. You're going to go ahead and find, put that over there. Now if it won't go down, you may have to turn it a little bit. But now once it goes down, then you're going to turn it. Now this is how we're going to set the grind side. Now it's installed. That can be a little tricky. So again, find that little ear. The ear's gonna go there, put it in, and then turn it. And now we're now we're selecting a grind size according to this mark right here. Take the lid off. This is where we put our beans. Okay, so you are gonna fill the bean hopper with whole bean coffee. I'm using my own coffee. I'm getting ready to brand my own coffee. This is some um, early samples we've early samples we've got it's called simple sip coffee this will be for sale eventually we're working on bag design right now so look for that on my just a dad videos group facebook page is where i'll be showing you when it's going to be for sale yeah my coffee is like a medium to dark roast more of a dark roast okay let's take a look and see what they sent us this is the porta filter here's your filters these just pop in and out now what i was really glad to see is in the bag the bag that these come in this says this is a double wall filter for pre-ground coffee. See how it has just, it's really hard to see, but it's got one hole. And this, this is a double shot with all the holes. This is when you grind your own coffee, like we're going to grind our own coffee. But if you have coffee already ground, like you use for a, a drip coffee maker, this is what you use, double wall. And they also have a single shot that's that way too. I really am glad they put these these stickers on here used for pre-ground coffee but again we have a single shot and a double shot this is what i'm going to try these i've never had much luck with these double walls but i am mainly going to be using grinding my own coffee we've got a tamper again here's what the fil porta filter looks like comes out both sides it seems okay and i love that it comes with a milk jug because we're going to be steaming some milk Okay, so to start off with, I'm just going to put the double fill, the double shot in here. It just snaps in there like this. Now here's where the shower head, that's where the, the hot water is going to come out and make our espresso. And here's the grinder. Now we do have a tray. Make sure and slide this tray out. Now you do have a, some tools right here. Slide this out. This is where the tools are kept for cleaning the espresso machine. That's really nice. You are going to be emptying this tray quite a bit. You do get some water. Be careful, that can be sharp. But this float will come up to let you know when you've got enough water. Because espresso machines, when they're working back there, they are making excess water. So it does come with three books. Quick start guide, a barista guide. I'll, main, I'll be mainly using the instruction book. We're going to be setting it up and then making espressos. Over here we have a steam knob. So before we plug it in, this can rotate here or here. Hot water or steam. We want to, The off position is in the middle. Make sure it's off. Okay, so when I plugged it in, it did beep at me. Now I'm going to hit the power button. Okay, long beep, lights are flashing. So it says this is in a preheat mode. These two lights are on, the power light is on, these are not on yet. Okay, after about a minute, these lights are on and I hear I heard kind of like a puff of steam. Okay, it really doesn't talk about, I'm gonna prime the pumps a little bit, so it really doesn't talk about this, I thought it would've. So let's, all the lights are on now. Now I'm gonna press, I don't have the port of filter in, but I'm just gonna press the single shot. You know, you want to, we want to get this machine, get water moving through the machine. We don't want to go right into making an espresso. That water coming out is going to be really hot, so be careful. Okay. We can also do a double shot just to kind of get it really working. All 
All right, with a single and a double shot, it did about almost five ounces. So be careful, this wand can get hot also, but point it right here towards this opening and put the switch to water. I'm gonna point it to the back. See the water's gonna go right into there. You can have it go into a cup, but I just wanna get the machine nice and primed, nice and working. When I'm done, I can rotate it to the middle position. Okay, everything should be good to go now. I've got this out of the way again. Be careful, that can be hot. We can move this. It's a little tricky, but we can move it out of the way. Power light, we got grind. We're gonna grind for a single shot, double shot. We got a single shot or a double shot. We got a menu button, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later. So probably one of the most important steps is gonna be the grind size. So we've got coarse and fine. I don't know exactly where we're gonna to wanna to be, and sometimes that even depends on the type of coffee bean you're using. You may use coffee bean one time and you may have it dialed in here and you may put a whole different coffee bean and you've got to move it. Okay, so let's try it right there, right at the 10. I got my portafilter ready. Now, when I put the portafilter here, then I'm going to need to press one of these buttons. I've got the double shot in, so I'm going to press the double shot. If I only had the single shot. Now, that's very sensitive. You're supposed to shake this to kind of... Make sure that the ground's level out. That does help a little bit. Now we're going to take it off, and we need to tamp it. Whoops. I knocked some of it out. Now they give us this pad here to put it on the edge of a table to tamp it. Now this tamping pressure is going to mean a lot also. So put it on the edge, kind of make sure it's nice and even level, and now you're going to give it one single tamp, kind of like like that. Kind of wipe off what's on the edge. Okay, so now you want to preheat the thermal head there, so just do a, don't put the portafilter in, just do a single shot real quick, let the water drain into the, the drip tray there. That's going to kind of warm things up and kind of rinse that head. It doesn't use a whole lot of water. All right, now we're ready to put this in. You got to start off at an angle, rotate it, it's kind of stiff. And then you're simply going to press the double shot. We're going to watch the gauge. This is called dialing in your espresso machine. Our gauge is coming up. We've got a, you know, I'm not sure exactly. So it looks like it's in the espresso range. It doesn't really tell us a whole lot about that gauge. And then there's what our shot looks like. That's a double shot. So the double shot looks like it did 2.5 ounces. Okay, so let's take this off, see how this did. It can be a little hard. Yeah, it's kind of runny up here. We kind of want that puck to be kind of nice and firm. So it doesn't come with a knock box, but you may want to invest in a knock box. There, the puck comes out. That puck wasn't that bad. You know, I've seen worse. Okay, rinse that out, make sure it's really dry. Let's put it back in, let's do another double shot. Let's go a little uh, finer. Let's go about three or four clicks, hit the grinder. Oh, forgot to shake it. Okay, so now we'll grab it again. Yeah, I might shake it. There's what the grind looks like. I like to just kind of make it nice and even. Now you can tamp it like this. You know, the tamper fits okay. It leaves a little bit along the edges there. I like to just give it one more tamp. There, it's all nice and even right below the surface. Okay, again, hit the single shot. Okay, time to put ours in. And we'll hit the double shot again. Kind of see what happens again. Looks like we're building up a little more. So the finer the grind, the little more you're going to build up more pressure. All right, let me try to get the the espresso coming out. It's about 160, you know, in the glass. 130, 140. There's 170. 
Now that gauge stayed right in that range. Again, this was finer. Now, I, I just can't, I'm not a taste expert. I, I don't know the difference between those two. I put both of those in like a cappuccino or latte and they, it tastes really good to me. But again, that I am not able to, to taste test a, an espresso shot. It's just way too strong for me. Let's take this out, see how the puck did. Yeah, it's got a lot more water in top. Okay, there's that puck. A little hard to see. Okay, now let's go. You know, I'll, I'll bet my perfect is going to be right. I would go in, right in between those. But I want to show you. Let's just go a little. Let's go to 15 and see what it does. So again, port a filter, grind. The grind is going to be a lot coarser. No, not a lot, but it's going to be coarser. And it does overflow. Since it's coarser, it kind of takes up more room. So you can definitely see we got a lot more in there. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, there's a lot more in here. Always make sure you wipe off these ears. We don't want to get it up inside the machine. Okay, so that was too much. I can't get the porta filter on. So it does have to be down below the surface. More than that, I can't get it on because it's hitting the shower head too much. Okay, let's go back. I'm cleaning the filter head right now. Let's let's go back to what I think my perfect one is between the 10 and the 5. All right, let's put it in and hit the grind button. Now, I can hit the grind button and stop it or prematurely if I think it's going to be too much. Yeah, I'll hit the button. That looked like it was going to fill it up too much. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is kind of an art. And then give it a nice tamp. It kind of make yeah, it's not a level, I mean, it needs to be a level tamp. Okay, there, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit farther down below the surface. Now you definitely want to use the edge of the table. I am getting some coffee crowns by doing it. By setting it on the table, that's not the best. Okay, you double shot. Yep, pressure is going up right in the middle. I think that's pretty good. Again, I wish they, they give us a pretty big range. But that looks like it's pretty good. Again, I can't taste. Yeah, about 155, almost 160 degree. Okay. Yeah, that one looks a little bit better. That's a nice espresso shot from the pictures I've seen. Okay, let's take this off, see what this puck looks like. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Still a little high, but better. It's dry on top. Yeah, here's that puck. Okay, I just spent a little time cleaning up. Espresso machines are messy, especially when you're you're uh, dialing them in with like your coffee and what kind of drink you're gonna like. I am gonna get to the milk frother, but I'm gonna try my own coffee, ground coffee now. Okay, I'm switching from this to this. Now, it doesn't come with a scoop, so this is going to be, you know, it's usually about two tablespoons, but you're going to put, this is medium ground coffee. I have no idea how this is going to work. I have not had much luck with this stuff, using your own coffee grounds. I might have too much. Now, your own coffee grounds are not going to compact like espresso. Yeah, that does not go down very far. It's, it's not going to fit. It needs to go down a little further than that. So I got too much. I'd say it takes probably just two tablespoons. Yeah. See how the porta filter is that lip is nice and even. That's where you that's how far down you want it. Now make sure you get all this off. Okay, let's put it in. Yeah, it fits. Glass double shot. We're building pressure up. Wow, I think it might actually be working. Unusual. That's kind of right in the range where this one turned out so well. All right, let's take a closer look. Well, not too bad. It looks like the pictures. Let's take this off. Yeah, there's ground coffee in there. 
Now, ground coffee, it just comes out. It, it doesn't stay as a puck. Okay, let's get some milk and let's, let's froth some milk. There are some markings on the side there. First thing you're going to do is point this right to that hole again, right there. Turn it to steam. You're going to get some water come out first and then steam. This light is flashing. After about 20 seconds, now I've got steam. So now turn it to off. Now I'm ready for steam. I can steam my milk. Now you're going to put your milk in there and keep it right below the surface. It's going to heat the milk and kind of give it some foam. You can kind of touch the side a little bit just to make sure you're not overheating the milk. All right, the milk's getting pretty hot. Now I'm going to turn this off. Now, this is an art. I've never perfected this. You're going to dump your, your hot milk, you know, into the latte or cappuccino, and then you can put the foam on top. Wow, that made a heart. That's my first latte art or cappuccino art. I've never been able to make anything. That was fun. Now, the mach this is normal for the machine. After you turn the steam wand off, it's got to kind of let some steam out. That is normal. So I do have to add, I have to add a little bit of, of syrup to it. Let's add some French vanilla. About a tablespoon and a half. Okay, let's give that a taste test. Not too bad. Um, not too bad. That's with the ground coffee. I think that's why it doesn't taste the absolute best, but it actually isn't too bad though. Let's froth some more milk and we'll um, try it with the other one, the other shot that I did with the espresso grounds. And turn it right to there, turn it to steam, let the water and steam build up and then turn it off. All right, I know this shot may be too old. Let me add some milk to it. All right, let me give that a try. I had to transfer it to a, a different glass so I could get the same amount of milk in it. But let's give this a try. Okay, so that one, that one tastes a little bit better, a little bit stronger coffee taste. This one is not too bad. The coffee taste is not as strong though. Again, this is with my own coffee grounds. This is with using the beans. Okay, I had to stop again and clean up the mess. So if you're not making a mess, and you're probably not doing something right because dialing these things in is, is pretty tricky. Now, I wanted to bring this from a perspective of unboxing it. I could have played with this for a month or two, got it all dialed in. But I want to show you when you first get it out, these are the steps that you're going to have to go through as far as dialing in your coffee beans. I could say, oh, just dial it here, here, and there, and you're done. But that's probably not going to be the case. You're going to have to step through all these steps. And be careful. This drip tray does get pretty full. Let me slide it out. And it's really dirty because it's got ground coffee in it, hot water. So just be really, really careful with it. But we do have to dump that out once in a while. Be careful with that. The steam wand, make sure and run some hot water through it. And then get a towel and wipe that off after it stops. So get a damp towel. Be careful. Don't burn yourself or anything. But you can wipe that off and get all that, that milk off of it. You can even unscrew that also, and there is a little, that tool in there, you can clean out that point in there if it gets clogged. Now, once in a while, you will have to wipe that down. Be careful, that gets really hot. Now, it does have this menu button. You can change what size the single shot is and what size the double shot is. You're going to press that. Now, I've been touching like right here, so sometimes when you touch down here, it, it starts a bit. So the way you're going to do it, you're going to hold that menu button down and then you're going to press the hold the, the single shot down. When you've got the correct amount of liquid through there, then you release this and it memorizes it. And then you can release that. Same with the double shot. Press and hold, press and hold. It's going to start running. When you've got the proper amount, release this button and it memorizes it. And I suggest get some old towels because you've got to keep everything dry and clean, but it does stain your towels. Now this area up here does get warm, so you can keep your mugs up here to kind of preheat them. 
So I think this is 57 millimeters. It's basically two, two and a quarter inches. And that converts to about 57 millimeters for the Porta filter. This seems like a pretty nice machine. It does have a descale light that's gonna let you know when it's time to descale. But you'll just have to play around with how much milk to add as far as getting the drinks and, this, and how much uh, of your flavors to put in to get them to taste really good. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. Again, this was really surprising that Walmart has an espresso machine. It says it's only at Walmart. Um, I've kind of seen this machine around Amazon. Um, they had one that they made themselves. It kind of reminds me of this. And now the Mueller brand is out on Amazon. It kind of reminds me of this machine also. I will put a link to it. I am a Walmart affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore but I will get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. I do buy these coffee makers with my own money. Be sure and check out my Just A Dad videos group page on Facebook. I'll be doing my free giveaways, so I buy these coffee makers, but I do end up giving most of them away, and this is where I do it. Also, I'll be doing behind the scenes and my coffee journeys. I'll be talking about the coffee that I'm making and when it's gonna be for sale. Let me know your thoughts on this coffee. If you've got this espresso machine at home, let me know your thoughts on it, or maybe some good recipes. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.